Welcome to today's video on Dineshta Nakshatra Life Predictions. In today's video, I will cover the characteristics for males and females and what that entails for their physical appearance, for their love life, marriage, for their health and career and wealth prospects. Also, I'll be going over uh, the negatives and positives of this nakshatra and also which uh, other signs are compatible and incompatible to this nakshatra. And also, we'll be going over some important um, details regarding the padas 1 through 4 for this nakshatra. And so much more, so please stay tuned to this video. Dineshta nakshatra spans two zodiac signs, which is Capricorn and Aquarius. The first and second quarters of the nakshatra fall under Capricorn, while the third and fourth quarter belong to Aquarius. In this video, we'll explore the characteristics of both zodiacs within Dineshta nakshatra. Capricorns stand out from the crowd uh, with their bravery and integrity. They're intelligent, thoughtful, and sensible, often displaying a mature outlook. They adhere to the principles of pause, think, and then act, and are meticulous about their responsibilities towards work, family, and friends. Capricorns tend to develop strength and independence early due to challenging circumstances. The Aquarius zodiac is known for its intelligence, strong determination, and willpower. Aquarians are often drawn to social work and charitable activities. They dream big and have the courage to pursue their ambitions, often surprising others with their achievements. They're humble and they do not boast about their talents, gaining recognition unexpectedly. So now let's look at male natives under this nakshatra. Personality and physical features. Male natives of the nakshatra are knowledgeable and highly intelligent. They prefer not to cause problems for others and exhibit patience, striking when necessary like an elephant. Physically, they're typically tall and lean, though some may have a strong and heavy build. So now let's look at career. Male natives often find success in various professions, particularly in music and performing arts. They may excel as singers, music composers, instrumentalists, actors and directors. Writing is also a favorable field with many becoming authors or poets. Now let's look at their wealth. These individuals often achieve prosperities early in life with their knowledge and achievements inspiring future generations. Marriage typically enhances their wealth leading to a respected status in society. So their marital life. Marriage brings good fortune for male natives with Dineshta nakshatra. They find themselves fortunate in the choices of the partner that they choose, with marriage often leading to promotions and increased luxuries. While arguments may occur, they strengthen the relationship. So let's look at health for these natives. Health can be a concern for male natives who often ignore minor issues until they become more severe. Common ailments include fever, cold, cough, and anemia. So now let's look at female natives under this nakshatra. Personality and physical features. Female natives have high aspiration and may spend money irresponsibly. They are modest, liberal, and sympathetic. They do tend to look youthful even in their 40s, with their most attractive feature being their lips, though some may have uninviting protruding teeth. So let's look at career for these females. Female natives are highly qualified and often succeed in various professions, particularly in literature and sciences. Teaching and banking are especially suitable careers for them. Um, as far as wealth, their careers bring significant wealth to maintain family happiness. They are regarded as symbols of fortune and may inherit wealth. As uh, far as their marital life, um, it is joyful with strong relationships with their partners and in-laws. They manage both home and work efficiently, leaving no room for misunderstandings. Regarding their health, female natives also exhibit a careless attitude regarding their health, similar to the male natives. They may suffer from blood-related issues, um, uh, uterus-type problems, and frequent 
fevers. Um, the nishta also is, again, um, there's four padas within the nakshatra, like all of the nakshatras. So now let's look at the four padas. So the first pada natives excel in life, but have struggle with marital uh, happiness. The sun rules this pada, leading to significant achievement. Um, if you're under the pada two, these natives will excel in athletics or um, the musical field with Mercury as a ruling planet. Marital life may be challenging. If you're born in Pada 3, natives enjoy a successful marriage and a peaceful mind, inclined towards arts, astrology, and spirituality, because Venus rules this Pada. If you're born under the fourth Pada, natives are physically strong and energetic, often helping the underprivileged, because Mars rules this Pada. This Pada may have um, weak family bonds. So now let's look at all the different planets under this nakshatra. So if your Venus is under Dineshta nakshatra, that leads to poor relations with peers and family. Jupiter, uh, greedy and never satisfied. If your Rahu is in this nakshatra, extremely wealthy or poverty. If your Mars is in this nakshatra, you're hardworking and goal-oriented. If your Sun is in this nakshatra, wealthy with multiple income sources. If your moon is in this nakshatra, you will be organized and punctual. If your mercury is in this nakshatra, you're highly intellectual. Saturn, materialistic, and if your ketu is in this nakshatra, spiritually inclined and good at meditation. So like all nakshatras, this one too also has its strengths and weaknesses, its negative and positives. So let's look at the strengths first. It is multi-talented, expert in its field. It is good looking and it also has a very nice smile. It's intelligent, it is a great learner, religious and well-mannered, friendly, social, and good at debates. And also it has the ability to keep secrets. Um, now the weaknesses for this nakshatra. This nakshatra can become arrogant and forget humility, egotism, argumentativeness, and opinionated may lose friends and family due to their changing nature there's also a risk of developing unhealthy habits such as drinking and smoking greedy and may also indulge in dishonest activities for their own uh, material gain so now let's look at compatibility and incompatibility with other nakshatras what suits them and what doesn't so based on Veda Dosh principles or stellar obstructions, certain nakshatras are considered incompatible with Dineshta um, and some are compatible. So Mrigshira and Chitra fall under this category. So the most compatible Purva Padra Pada nakshatra represents the masculine lion Purva Padbara aligns well with Dineshta Nakshatra according to the concept of Yoni um, um, compatibility. So what's non-compatible is Barni and Revti Nakshatra. Okay, and these nakshatras are re represented by elephant, which is physically um, incompatible with the lion symbol of uh, Dineshta. So partially compatible is Shravana, Purva Ashara, Uttra Ashara, um, these nakshatras have neutral relationships with Dineshta, uh, which is symbolized by the lion's neutrality with the monkey and uh, mongoose. So now let's look at notable personalities born under Dineshta nakshatra, which include Jayaprada, Rocky Gozar, Princess Diana, Sanjay Dutt, Salman Khan, JRD Data. So this is a very strong nakshatra. And if you have found today's video helpful, useful, and you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you once again.